Canaltech Especial FutureCon 2014, cobertura completa e entrevistas exclusivas do mercado de telecomunicações. A Fundação Mozilla é muito conhecida pelo navegador, que é um dos mais acessados do mundo. Mas ela também tem enfrentado o um mercado de dispositivos móveis com um sistema operacional próprio, o Mozilla OS. E para conversar sobre isso e também sobre a presença deles no Brasil, converso agora com o Andreas Gol, que é CTO da Mozilla. Thanks for coming. So first of all, uh, let's talk a little bit about the Mozilla browser. It's been a tough uh, fight uh, between the, the big browsers, big companies right now, isn't it? That, that's correct. The browser space is very competitive. This is actually the reason why Mozilla exists today. Our purpose is to make the browser market competitive. So the reason that today you have things like Chrome you can choose from is because we start to enter the browser space and make open technology that anyone can implement. And today you can choose between Chrome, between Firefox, between IE and Safari. That's very much the way we want the market to be. The browsers have always innovations. In about three or three months you have a new feature coming in. The next one, the next big one, is going to be Firefox Hello, isn't it? Tell us a little bit about that. Firefox Hello is an important step for Firefox. We are taking the browser into a much, much more collaborative environment. In the past, communicating via the browser has been only partially supported. And very soon, through WebRTC, browsers will support online communication directly. We will no longer need plugins. Firefox Hello is a service that we are providing that lets people use video and audio chat directly from the browser. Uh, without any login or anything? Yeah, so one of the differences of Firefox Hello in comparison to other services is that we make the barrier of entry very, very low. You can just take a URL and share it with a friend and you can immediately start talking to each other. So you don't have a contact list? You can have a contact list, you simply don't have to. So if someone is not in your contacts because you only quickly want to talk to them, you can much more easily initiate a conversation with them. So when it's going to be available? It will be available towards the end of this year. Okay. okay, so talking a little bit about Mozilla OS now, how's it like to fight against Apple and Google or that's not the idea of Mozilla OS? Well, it is the idea and it's also not the idea in some sense. It is the idea of Firefox OS to compete with existing operating systems because we want to change the market environment. We're concerned that in the mobile space we don't have the same strong competition that you mentioned in desktop browser space. That's exactly what we would like to restore. We would like to have a healthy mobile ecosystem where consumers can choose between many different devices and operating systems and no single or two vendors control the ecosystem. At the same time, the first versions of Firefox OS devices were very much targeting a different segment than existing operating systems. We are targeting first-time smartphone users who are really entering the digital age for the first time and coming from a feature phone. And everybody can collaborate with that. Yeah, what's, what's so unique about Mozilla is that we are a non-profit foundation and an open source project. As a result, anyone can participate. So iOS is made by Apple, Android is made by Google, Firefox OS is made by a large group of operators, of OEMs, of chipset vendors, and also Mozilla contributors. In Brazil, you have a close relationship with Vivo, right? How, how do you, how do you work, work things out together? Vivo has been a very long time partner of this project through Telefonica, their parent company. Telefonica was essentially the, the first industry participant from the telecommunication industry that joined the project almost three years ago. And we had a very long collaboration ever since. And one of the reasons that Brazil was one of the first countries to get Firefox OS phones was this close, close relationship with Vivo. Brazil was one of the first countries you've been, been in. Now you are in how many countries? We are now present in 24 countries, including Asia now since last year, and we have 12 devices in the market now. How's the market seeing the, the, the OS? Well, you can see from the growth that we have seen that we are really getting great market reception. Last year, when I was here, a year ago, we had, I think, two devices in market in maybe three or four countries. Today, we have 24 countries and 12 devices. So I think things are going very well for us. Thank you. Security issues, that's a really important thing for you, isn't it? Security is very, very core to Mozilla's mission and to our brand. And we use the same principles that we implement on the desktop browser as on our mobile phone. We put the user first and in control when it comes to security. So if a site would like to access your information, you are in control, you will be asked whether you would like to share your, your location, for example. Okay, that's it. Thanks a lot for being here. That Thank was... you very much. Thank you.